All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and today I'm going to be talking about the report that came out from Sportsnet's Chris Johnson that the Flyers are intending to sign Swedish forward Linus Sandin from the Swedish Elite League. All right, so, you know, I saw this report uh, yesterday and Amadeo, the pod my podcast partner uh, for the Flyer Podcast, he sent me a text saying that the Flyers are looking to sign Linus Sandin and it was a tweet uh, from Chris Johnson. I looked it up on Twitter and this is what the tweet reads. Uh, Swedish forward Linus Sandin intends to sign with Philadelphia with the Philadelphia Flyers, although he can't officially do so until the NHL finalizes new international transfer agreements. Sandin was one of the SHL's top scorers with 19 goals for HV 7-1 last season and had multiple NHL offers. It's and then he followed up that tweet saying, "It sounds like the uh, the I I the IIHF transfer agreements will be slash have been extended for a year. Either way, there's no official." entry-level contract yet, but Sandin has picked the Flyers from the group of interested NHL teams. So, he obviously had a couple offers from teams. He's 23 years old, he's 6'1", 209 pounds, uh, and he's also right-handed. From my, uh, you know, assessment, what I saw him film-wise, I looked up a couple uh, highlights here, and I'm going to put that in this video as well in, in a couple seconds, um, but I looked up, uh, you know, Sandine, and a lot of it was, a, he looked like a guy that goes to the net, he gets a couple greasy goals, and it's not like he doesn't have, you know, a lot of big plays, because one thing I noticed, he had a lot of empty net goals in 18-19, and, or at least in that highlight package that I saw on YouTube, and that, that speaks volumes to me, because he's a guy that is trusted out in the last, you know, dying seconds of the game, uh, you know, the last minute or two, maybe two minutes or so, he's out there in those last couple of minutes. So that's very good as well. Uh, and as Chris Johnson said, he was uh, one of the SHL's top scorers at 19. He finished, uh, to be exact, he finished tied for third in the SHL with 19 goals. So uh, it's pretty damn good right there as the Swedish Fleet League is like the third, maybe fourth most hardest league, in my opinion, is third uh, in the whole world. Um, so Sandin, as I said, he had 19 goals and he also had 17 assists for 36 points in 51 games played. Uh, with HV71. A couple things about him. Uh, he shares the same hometown as Robert Hag, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. And he's also Rasmus Sandin's older brother, uh, who he Rasmus was drafted uh, by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2018 in the first round. Okay, so one thing that I did do here, uh, as I said, I have the highlights. I'm going to put them up now. And then I have the NHL uh, 20 overall rating um, for Sandin, which uh, that's usually the first thing that I kind of look at when I, you know, when I go to look at guys that the Flyers could potentially sign or draft guys, things like that. Uh, he is a 59 overall, but to be honest, don't let that fool you because I think what EA Sports did uh, was they kind of just have, uh, you know, guys that don't really watch the SHL. They just kind of give them random overalls um, and then it's like, that's it. So all of his actual, like, I, I guess you can call the stats, not his... Uh, you know, his season stats, but like his, his face-offs, you know, and I'm just, I'm not saying he's a center. I'm just saying in general, like his face-offs, his deking, his hand-eye, uh, you know, his defensive awareness, offensive awareness, wrist shot power, slap shot power, all that stuff. That seems pretty accurate, but it's just the overall that doesn't, he's a 59. All that stuff is around like a 68 from like 62 to 68. And then some are 70, 72, but that seems pretty accurate, but not the overall. So here are the highlights and some of the NHL 20, uh, clips that I got from him from when I, I I literally just did like him like skating around and shooting and stuff like that but that's all that was so here are the highlights and the NHL 20 training practice <laughs>
Timeoutläge för Linköping va? Ja, Bob Bertolt är det Edvenäs som öppnar vi bort och så är det så vackert! Det är Taylor Nesson som öppnar vi bort till Sandin som har hela eftermiddagen på sig att bägge i ett år. Det är en väldig skillnad på ryggen i den här fighten. Vi ska se vad Arne Lööf hittar på. Han väljer pass! Nej men titta! i förra sättet på nytt. Och här, Sandin! Sandin! Ja, men har ni sett? Vad är det här för match? Vad är det för... All right, so all that right there, it seems pretty cool. Uh, and I definitely do enjoy it. As for the NHL 20 side, I thought that was cool. As for the highlights, he's got some pretty nice goals. And as I said, a couple of them are empty netters, which which is perfectly fine. Um, you know, they're putting the record book as well. So it's not like you can't put them in here. Um, but even still, you know, there is actually a full video. It's around like five minutes. Uh, usually what I do it, I just like cut up a couple things. Um, and that's what I've done really with all the highlight packages I've made. Um, I've just tried to find the clips and I just cut them and then I add them in. So that's really about it. But one thing that I did want to talk about here, um, now if this is, you know, if this is the Flyers guy and this is someone that they could use, um, you know, in the next couple seasons, as I said, he's 23 years old, he's going to, and you know, he could, he can definitely challenge for a spot here at training camp. So one thing I'm thinking is, is that if he is that Flyers guy and as I brought up earlier, he will be signed to an entry level contract. So... Does that mean that the Flyers maybe take a step back with, uh, you know, the re-signing of a couple guys? Say they don't sign Derek Grant and Tyler Pedley. Say they leave both of them out purposely. They just don't sign them, right? If they do that, could they go for a second line, uh, either a second, third line center, a guy, a, a, and I have three players here that I think the Flyers could go for, in this free agency market, and those three would be Craig Smith from the Nashville Predators, Eric Kala from the Florida Panthers, and Vladislav Nemestikov from the Colorado Avalanche. All of them, I think they, you know, I think they would help out. In my opinion, I think Hall is probably the best one. He's the cheapest. Smith, he makes 4.250, uh, and that is in 1920. So these are all their 1920 contracts. Smith, 4.250, Hala, 2.75, Nemestikov, 4 million even. So again, these are all guys that you can that you can pick up, um, and they're definitely cheap enough where you can add some stuff in with them. You can definitely try to maybe do like if if the, if they want to take pay cuts or anything like that, um, even so. But I think Eric Hall would be a really nice fit here with the Flyers. Um, if you know Florida would want to give him up, and obviously if the Flyers would want to target him uh, in free agency, and I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying it is an option because now that they have Sandine. They really don't know what they're going to do. I don't I don't think they have to move up in the draft anymore. I don't think there's really much else they have to do. It's kind of just like, what do you do in free agency now? Now that they have Sandine, there's really no point for them to move up in the draft. So even still, um, I think, that, you know, I think a lot of this is, you know, a lot of us are thinking, I think it's good. I think it's good that, you know, a lot of, a lot of Flyers fans are thinking and they're trying to, and I'm doing my, my I'm doing my best, man. I'm trying to figure out any, anything that this team can do. Um, and I've just been really pumping out videos lately, and I'm really appreciating the, the support from you guys. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments on Instagram and, you know, my uh, even on Twitter and stuff. People have been calling me, texting me, everything. I really do appreciate it. Um, and again, guys, remember, podcast, articles, those links for my channel. And you can go check out this hoodie uh, at East, eastphillydesigns.com. 10% off if you use my code FFM93. 
uh, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Below. So remember, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys at the next one, and goodbye.